JProfile offers a number of standard telemetries here in the telemetry section that are generally useful. However, in your own applications, there are most likely several scalar values that you would like to observe over time. For that purpose, JProfile has custom telemetries. The feature is designed so that it's very easy to quickly add new telemetries and then configure their details later on. There are two different kind of data sources from which JProfile can build such telemetries. The first one uses numeric attributes from MBeans that are published in the profile JVM. Let's see how that works. This dialog shows the MBean browser that was discussed in detail in an earlier screencast. The MBean browser here only shows the MBean attributes and not the operations. Let's locate an interesting numeric value that we can track. In the hotspot VM, there are two garbage collectors. Scavenge for the younger generations, Mark Sweep for the old generation. Both garbage collectors publish an MBean with interesting information. The last GC info attribute here has a property called duration that tells us how many milliseconds were spent in the last GC operation. For scavenge, let's select this attribute and plot it. Now we would really like to compare this graph with a corresponding value from the mark and sweep garbage collector. So let's add another telemetry for that. As you can see in the sidebar here, both VM telemetries are now called duration, so we have to rename them. And also we would really like to see them both together in the same graph. And we can do that by clicking on the Configure Telemetries button in the toolbar. At the top level, you can see the custom telemetry views and nested, you can see the data feed lines. JProfile has used the MBean attribute name for naming the entire custom telemetry view. Unfortunately, in this case, that's the same for both telemetries, but we're going to correct that now. Let's move the second data feed line into the first VM telemetry view and then delete the second view, which is now empty. Now we're going to give proper names to the data feed lines. Just double click to edit and then we're going to copy the names from the object name. The view itself can, of course, also be renamed. So let's edit that row and change the name. There are a couple more interesting options on that dialog. We can set the unit and scale the data. And if the data feed lines were additive, we could plot them as an area graph. Let's accept these changes and see what happens. The view selector looks good now. We have a single custom VM telemetry view. There are two data field lines that are named appropriately. And if we kick the GC a little, we see that the values do change. The second data source that we have is a script. So let's add a script-based telemetry now. The script has to return a value of type long, and you can use the script context for storing data for later invocations of the same script. Here I'm profiling a swing application and I'm going to perform a measurement that checks how responsive the event dispatch thread is. This line here invokes an empty runnable on the event dispatch thread, waits for its completion, and returns the time in nanoseconds. We have to enter a line caption here because JProfiler cannot automatically extract the name from the script here, so let's call it EDT response time, and off we go. Let's wait a little for data to build up. At first we can see some influence from class loading, but then it settles down to a pretty constant line here. I have a nifty switch on the application itself. It allows me to introduce some blocking to the EDT. And if I select it, then we can see that response times go way up. The EDT becomes a lot less responsive. Scalar values that change over time are everywhere and plotting their graphs can help you understand what's going on in your application. In particular, look at the MBeans that are published by your libraries and application servers. Often they publish a lot of useful metrics that can be immediately plotted by JProfiler. 